Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. What we're doing today is our homemade MREs that we do. Back about three or four years ago, we actually thought about buying, you know, a few cases of MREs and putting them up just, just for emergencies, just to have them. But the prices on them things was just astronomical. I mean, they're, I mean they still are. You know, MREs, if you get the real deal MREs, like military style MREs, they're just very expensive, very expensive. And it's only one meal. Yeah, one person, one meal, you know. So what we did is we decided we're just gonna make our own. So basically that's what we have right here. This right here is the MRE that we made. And this right here will probably feed two people for one day or one person for two days. Or, I mean, even if two people and a small kid, you could still eat on this right here and you'd still eat good with the stuff that we put in it and the average around uh each one of these average around 1700 calories so i mean the calories would be a little little low for two people or more you know of course but one person get plenty of calories but like i said two people could easily eat on this for one day if if not two it all depends and what we do in our mres they have to be able to eat be eaten directly from the pack so anything we put in here, you have to be able to tear it open, take a spoon and eat it right out of the pack. So that's the whole purpose of it. We don't want nothing in here that 100% has to be heated or cooked. We don't want nothing in there like that. You can heat it and cook it. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is you can eat it right out of the pack the way that we put them in here. Okay. We have to have a breakfast, something for breakfast. We have to have a lunch. We have to have a dinner. We have to have some type of drink in here. All right, and we, you know, snacks is a good thing to throw in here too. Also, you know, walking around snacks and stuff like that. So like if you bug out, you grab a couple of these, put them in your backpack and you, you get out. You know what I mean? You'll want to have, you know, a few little snacks here and there as you walk or wherever it is, get to wherever you're going. So we do that. And we also add utensils in there. Uh, we put a little bit of salt and pepper. The last thing that we really look for on our food that we buy, it has to have at least a minimum of one year shelf life left on the pack at least a lot of it has two or three but yeah we try for at least a year yeah and uh like i said as long as as long as you can eat it directly out of the pack that's all that matters to us we, we try to mix them all up and have a little something different in each one of them but we do have a lot of them made and here's two of them that we already made we decided to do this video while we was making them because we got a bunch we got a bunch to do so we decided we'd do a video on it and here's two of them right here all right we're going to do one more and we figured we'd show everybody how we do it and we use the green mylar bags or you can use the silver ones you could use the clear ones it doesn't matter if you want, if you want to see what's in there use the clear ones and we also use an oxygen absorber in there once we get all the food packed in there i'll poke an oxygen absorber in there right here and these are actually overkill for this but this is what we had out these are like 750 cc's for this little bag right here so i mean it doesn't matter i don't care there's no big deal but, all right, if you want to go over what we have. Here is our breakfast, Lucky Charms. You can get them in Fruity Pebbles. You can get them in um, Apple Jacks. You can get them basically anything you want. Yeah. And this bag is that full. So you can even split it and make it two people. Yep. And then here's some coffee. Some people drink coffee, some don't. They have little hot chocolate ones. They have coffee ones. You know, just something to drink. Yeah, those are instant coffee, actually. Yes. But these are these are just like a luxury. Like like I was saying earlier, if you don't have a way of heating it or anything like that, no big deal. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Uh, but you have them if you can. Mm -hmm. Then for lunch, here's a few different pouches we have. This one is Tuna Creation. It is hot buffalo, it's bold. You can get them in different ones. They have jalapeno ones. They have um, just basically different hotnesses. And then this one is chunky light tuna in water. And then this one is light wild light tuna and it's a dill tuna salad, which means it has the pickles in it, so. Then you have the chicken, roasted garlic and herb chicken. 
Can't, these, these things are great for protein too. 10 grams of protein just in that right there. Mm -hmm. And that right there's got 116 grams of protein in just in that. Yeah. So I mean, you get tons of protein just out of these little packs right here. And these packs right here. 19. Yeah, come from Walmart. And I think they're like 88 cents a piece for these yes. right here. That's One thing I like about these from Walmart, like the date on these is 2027. Some of them are 2028. Yeah, and they got way so, out there on the shelf life. Yeah. So that's our lunch. That would be two people for lunch. Right. And then here's our snacks. Here is a trail mix, sweet and salty mix. And it's actually got 140 calories. And then we have some Slim Jims here. We have some hard candies. In case you have kids or something like that. Or, I mean, I like these things myself, but if you have kids, it's perfect. And then we have a original lemonade and a pink lemonade. And these actually have like 10 calories in them. Yeah. So. You could, you, you, there's several different kinds of these right here that you can get. You know, everybody knows that you get like the little bottle of water and you pour one these in a bottle of water, shake it up and drink it, of course. And these are actually very good. These little lemonades right here. They're the Weiler's brand. That We love these things. We got tons of these things put up. Mm -hmm. But uh, you could get Kool-Aid. You could get instant tea. I mean, you can get mm -hmm. all kinds of things. Just, you know, you have to get you a little bottle to keep your water in, of course. They I mean, have Propel Waters. Yeah. But I mean, if... Uh, in an SHTF situation, you know, if you got a bottle with you, you drink all your water, you can stop at a creek or somewhere and fill that bottle back up. I know that's not, you know, what you want to do is drink straight out of the creek. You want a bullet or something like that. But if it was a situation bad enough, I'd drink out of that creek. Pour this in there, I'd drink a fish turd, I guess. Yeah, they also have the little water bottles with the purifiers in them if you have your water bottle with you mm -hmm. in the vehicle and whatnot. All right, and for dinner, that's breakfast, lunch, and we got some snacks and we got our drinks. All right, this right here is for dinner. This is garden vegetables. It has peas, carrots, and corn. They have a bunch of different kinds. You can get it with just, you know, carrots and corn, or you can get it with just different vegetables in it, per se. These are already cooked. These are pre-cooked. Some of them have garden vegetables like broccoli or whatnot, but we have a pouch of that. These come uh, pre-cooked, like I said. Uh, they're kind of like a little block in there. What it's designed to do is you heat it, maybe pour a little water in there. You don't have to. These are really designed to like stick in a microwave or something like that. Mm -hmm. But just take and break it up a little bit like that. You could eat it with a spoon. Yeah. Or or you could take it and break it up like that and put it in a pot and heat it. But you can eat it right out of the pack just like it is right here. It's pre-cooked. They also have the ones that are the rice and beans together in one bag. Mm -hmm. And these are like $2 at Walmart. They're not bad. And then we have the refried beans and like i said these pouches could fill two people two people yeah. could eat on them that, that's that's heavy and uh you can't go wrong with pinto beans right there it, that's that's a pretty heavy little pack of beans it's come from the dollar tree one dollar right here these also come from the dollar tree and this is shredded beef so but you can take these and yeah, you can mix uh, you can mix this together right here, these beans and this right here together, and the rice. If you wanted to mix the rice, in, a lot of people do that. Not me. I ate my rice out of pack, but you could take a, you can mix the refried beans, the shredded beef, and put it right here on one of these shells right here. So what we do, the so beans that this will feed, this right here, uh, we eat tacos and stuff a lot, and uh, this right here is enough to feed me and her well over. You know what I mean? Probably. Uh, a very good, very good meal. This, just this right here. And that's not including this. I could eat these refried beans just out of here, just like pinto beans. You know what I mean? I could eat them right out of the pack. I love them. I could eat them right out of the pack. So we mix this together, and that'd be enough for me and her to make several, several like burritos. So what we want to do is you want to put two or four in here. Let's just, put the, let's just put the four in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's four shells. Right there's four tortilla shells. These are new. We just bought them. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold them in half. Then fold them in half again, just like that. Put them right in a Ziploc baggie, just like that. Okay, mash all that out the best we can. All right, just like that. So there's four shells. That's enough for four burritos. So I could, eat, you know, technically I could eat one, she could eat one. Then like the next day we could eat another one if we had to. So this, this is more than enough to feed me and her for two days. I mean, I mean, sure you wouldn't stuff yourself, you know what I mean? But you'd stay alive, basically. Then we take a napkin. 
And we take the napkin. We have a fork, a knife, and a spoon to be able to eat our stuff with. And then we have salt and pepper to season it up a little bit. It's always good to have a little seasoning packets in your in the MREs. You don't have to use them, but a lot of people like salt and pepper. She loves salt and pepper on everything. I don't, so. So more than likely I'll end up using both, but then we have our silverware. Right, these bags are basically a one gallon size bag, give or take, they're close to one gallon. So normally what I do is I try to mash everything down as flat as I can get it, like that. Then I start poking it in the back. Let's try to do it one at a time. And we use our uh, V-Bor chamber vac over there to seal these things up with. And uh, we'll leave a link to that thing in the description if anybody wants to check it out. So we'll get all this stuff in here. Try to get it the best you can, the flat as you can. All right. Put this tuna, probably right on top. Right on top of that. Then it's rice. Cereal. Cereal got a little iron in it, but it'll still go. If you want to make it go, you have to get her a little water fire in there. Okay, Your candy. Poke it in there. You just have to make everything fit. Like I said, it's It'll suck it down, you know, down to that anyway, you know what I mean? It'll draw it down. But you, for to get it to go in the machine, you have to really pack it in there. But our machine is kind of the smaller one, but I mean, it does everything that we need it to do, so. Okay, let's put this in there on the top, maybe. Okay, then these shells right there. Our snacks. Make sure your silverware pointed down so it don't put a hole in your bag. Okay, let's take this and put them shells up there, maybe. No. It's gonna suck them down anyway. It's gonna mice those shells, but it don't matter. Okay, now just poke all this stuff in there. Your candy, put them around in there. Your trail mix, rather, whatever that is. But yeah, like you were saying, take these uh, forks and make sure the pointy part is covered up with your napkin and point them in a direction where it's not gonna poke a hole in your bag when you put it in there. And each of our bags are at least 1,700 calories. At least, yep. Yeah. If not more. All right. All right, so what we're gonna do now, it's all in the bag right here, as you can see. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna stop the video, we're gonna jump over and we'll start it back at the v -Bor, and uh, we'll show you how we seal it. It's a little tricky to get in there, I ain't gonna lie, because the bag is so big, but we make it work. Be right back. Okay. This one's pretty full, so I'm gonna take a little MacGyver in and get it going in here. Okay, that should. That. that should work there, just like that. Okay, now let's close that. Okay, I want to turn my heat down just a little bit. My okay, now. Okay. As you can see, MRE. And these are our pickled eggs. Some of the best pickled eggs you ever put in your mouth. Alrighty guys, now that we got this thing sealed up, straight out of the V board over there, as you can see it, it drew it up good. So like and there's I mean, this is a little heavier than your standard MRE, like military style MRE or something like that. But there's like two or three times the food in this thing too, you know. And like she was saying, this average, the average around 1,700 calories per per, per pack that we do. Some more. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so here's the three that we made tonight. Right here. Uh, the last, one of the last steps we do to this, turn over here, we got a flat spot right here. We take these labels right here. Uh, 
As you can see, these labels are two inch by four inch labels that we buy at Walmart. And then you can write on it with a Sharpie. We have a Sharpie. All right, then you write on it what's in there. You know, we wrote what? Refried beans, tuna, rice, shredded beef, Lucky Charm cereal, snacks, lemonade packets, coffee packets, utensils, salt and pepper, and maybe some candy. You know, we wrote all that on here. And we wrote the date on it that we done it. Let's peel it off. Stick it right there. Alright, so at least we know what's in that. Then we take and we get one of these great big totes. Yep, these things are um, only $9 at Home Depot now. These big totes right here are. So uh, we got a few of these. The only thing I don't like about them, they don't got the lock and sides on it. I don't like that part of it, but I mean, they seem to work pretty good. We have got them from Walmart in the past. Yeah. And then basically, all we do, just, you know, you can stand up there where we can see, where you can see what we're doing. We just stand them in here like this. Make us a row of them, just like that right there. So put them too wide. Then you could get just in this one tote right here. You know, if, if you had time to basically, you know, grab something, if you had to bug out of your house, if you, if you had time to grab something, grab that one tote right there if it was full, that would be a couple weeks worth of food right there just for you and somebody else or maybe three people, you know. It is what it is. But me, if I, I know if I'm having to bug out and I know I can get to my vehicle and leave my vehicle, I'm going to grab something like that and take it with me, you know, just... I, I wouldn't grab just a couple of them out of there and put it in the backpack or something like that. I would grab the whole daggone tote if I could. But I'm, I'm but we I'm, have two or three of them meals in our bug out bags too. So. Yeah, yeah. So we could always grab the tote, throw it in the car, but then if something happened, we still have our bug out bag with two or three of them in there. All right, all right guys, if, if you're keeping up with the world events going on around the world today, something like this is going to be very beneficial to you. And, and I got a feeling it's going to be very beneficial to you very shortly. There, with everything that's going on in the world right now, anything you can do like this to prepare yourself or your family in case you have to get out and leave, it's perfect. Even if you don't have to get out and leave, you still have it there, you can still eat on it. It's, you know, it's stuff put back and it's got a very long shelf life on it right there. So worst case scenario, you put it in your pantry, you know, SHTF situation, you get to, you don't have to bug out. You stay at home. You still have something right there that you can rely on. God only knows how long, you know, whatever. But mm -hmm. the, the average person right now in America, right now in the United States of America right now, has an average of three to five days, three out to five days. of food in your, in your house, in your pantry, your kitchen, your refrigerator. You have three to five days food supply. Mm -hmm. So anything you can do like this right here to help yourself and your family, well, you'll really, really, really appreciate appreciate it and you'll be glad you did because uh, there's going to be a lot of people out there that they have no clue what's coming and they're not doing this they're not preparing themselves for what is coming mm -hmm. it's not if it's coming it's it's when it gets here and they're not doing anything about it so anything you can do like this right here to prepare yourself or your family i strongly suggest you do and each of our bags are like between what eight and ten dollars a pouch and you yeah. know that would be eight to ten dollars you know if you could put twenty dollars a week up that helps you with an extra two days you know at if things yeah. got bad or when things got bad yeah all right one thing you could do is every time you go to walmart or a dollar store these are a dollar a bag just pinto beans right here a dollar a bag and this right here will feed two three people one day right just this right here so put this in a mylar bag put uh, you can even put it in a ziploc bag and throw it in the shelf and that thing will be good for years to come. And that, yeah, that'll feed three people. This one little bag right here. And here's something else we like to do too. We get tons of eggs from our chickens. We get tons of eggs from our chickens. So what I've started doing, again, I've done it in the past, but now I've got into it again, is I started pickling a lot of our eggs right here. These are pickled eggs right here. These are pressure canned here. They're good for years on a shelf, as long as you keep them out of sunlight and stuff like that. Protein right here for a snack. This right here is your protein right here. There's tons of protein in those things. Just simple things you can do like that right there. You can even grab, like right up there, those uh, boxes of uh, ramen noodles. You know, like what, like 10 in a thing for like $2? Then one of those will feed somebody one for a meal. You know, one pack of noodles will feed. Mm -hmm. That's a meal for someone. But anyway, guys, if you haven't done so yet, please hit that like and subscribe button. It don't cost anything. It's free to do. And uh, we will catch you on the next one. Have a blessed day. Bye. 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 Bye.
video. Bye.